All right, YouTube, Bill Hensley here. And I'm gonna do a quick video for you on the uh, Bolt EV here. I've, I've currently got it hooked up and I'm charging. But be before I get into that, just, well, what is this? What is going on here? It is April 10th, 2020, and we are getting buried in snow right now. This is just, this is insane. Like, it's bad enough that we are cooped up inside having to stay home these days. Yeah, it's a crazy world right now, but anyways. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> April 10th, 2020, and it is just snowing out here. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I have literally had enough of Maine. <laughs> but no, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Actually, actually, while I'm on that topic, real quick, for those of you... Uh, who have been following me. I've, I've actually had a couple of people reach out to me and ask, hey, Bill, when are you going to put out another video? And well, he here we go. I'll, I'll do a video here. And the, the reason why I'm doing a video right now is because um, I just sold my house. <laughs> yep, I am right here. I am living at home. This is my parents' house right here. And I, I just sold my property. I don't have access to uh, level two charging anymore. And this is the reason why I'm putting out a video this morning is, is what is it like uh, having only level one charging available to you and driving an electric car and having a snowstorm at the same time? I can't believe the snow. That's just, uh. okay, anyways. Uh, so let's stay on topic here. So yeah, I am plugged in right now. I actually have my Juicebox Pro 40 uh, hooked up to the, which is traditionally, um, we'll plug into a 240 volt outlet offering uh, 32 amps for, for the Bolt EV, but I have it hooked up right now to this adapter, which goes to the uh, 110 electrical. Um, this is a heavy duty gauge uh, extension cord. You normally wouldn't use like a, a regular extension cord. And the reason for that is safety. I mean, most extension cords it's not of this heavy gauge but with that said the engineers at Chevrolet were also thinking about safety too when they designed the Bolt EV and the Bolt EV by default will only draw up to 8 amps when you plug it into a normal 110 electrical now if you know what you're doing and you are being safe about it and I I know a thing or two about electricity so <laughs> um I have it programmed in the bolt so that instead of drawing eight amps, it draws 12. And as you can see with my app right here, I, I'm drawing a steady 11.8 amps at 115 volts, so, so we're good. But where do you find this setting in the car? Because again, by default, it does limit you to only eight amps when plugging into 110. Now, I've already gone ahead and switched it back to the eight amp setting. As you can see here, yeah, I'm only drawing 7.9 amps off of the 110. But uh, as long as you have made sure that the outlet that you're plugging it into can handle a 12 amp draw, then you can safely switch it over in the car by using the energy menu down here. And then you would go to charging. And as you can see, it is on the eight amp setting right now. When you go to switch it, the car will warn you that yes, if you plug into an outlet that can't handle it, you could cause a fire or shock or any of that you click OK and then you are now on the 12 amp setting and as you can see back up here it's drawing 11.8 amps off of the uh, 110 so why the big deal of switching it between 8 amps and 12 amps well in a 12 hour setting it'll make all the difference between getting either 50 miles of range put back on the car versus roughly 75 miles of range Again, in a 12 hour window, if you were to park the car at say five o'clock at night and plug in using just 110, and then you leave at five o'clock in the morning, you'll have an additional or roughly uh, 20 to 25 miles more of range added to the vehicle. Of course, this is all based off of your driving conditions. Anyways, I hope this video has helped. If you're considering getting a Bolt EV and you're faced with only having access to level one charging for the time being, you can definitely get by if your daily commute is within the national average. Until next time, I'm Bill Hensley. Stay safe, stay home, and keep on charging into the future.